Hey guys, it's Amber here. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel, Plan Aloud. And today is a fun, not plan with me. <laughs> if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time, thank you for coming and I hope you stick around. So today, I am going to do a spring refresh of my planner. I have only been keeping three months of my planner in my planner at one time and I have three months of my regular planner and three months of my health planner. So that's like six months in there. Let's just jump right in. I couldn't figure out which cover I wanted to use. I first wanted to use this one because I'm obsessed with it. This was like my first undated planner. I love it. And I even love the inside. And I'm like, mm, that's not bright enough for me right now because I really am into like the brightness of spring. And that's not working for me right now. So then I thought of this one. This is actually my current planner. The cover it came in it was like the mom like sage planner I believe and look at the inside it's just so cute I'm obsessed with this but I'm not going with this one either so I believe this one came on a planner last year and it's this one it says embrace today and I was like okay finally this is it I love the inside Oh, it's a little bit yucky. If you haven't been here or you, you, this is your first time to Happy Planner, it's super easy to put on the disc. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So these are all the things I'm gonna use to create my spring planner. So this cover has the dark green and the like, like, light colors like mint colors on here and I honestly couldn't figure out which one I wanted so I said why choose one when you can do both this is your planner girl like make it yours and that's what I love so much about the happy planner disc system you can completely customize it to your needs and your wants pull the extra disc out so that's what it's gonna look like and now we're gonna do the snap on covers and I love these ones as well they just look so good these ones are a little bit tougher to put on so I'm just gonna speed you up through this is giving me like oh my gosh vibes because I love green and to have like two different color greens is awesome okay so we're gonna just open this up and we're gonna start laying our papers in so let me get my planner I actually have nine months in here so I have the first or the last nine months of my regular planner and then the nine months of my health planner as well and I honestly find this to be like the easiest part of putting my planner together are my pages I usually take out one month at a time and it's easy to just pull them all out together I usually don't rip any pages and like disc punch don't get messed up or anything and I usually start from the bottom and just kind of I don't know if that was like in in the shot and I just push them down and it's like easy peasy and we're gonna go up to June of course I love this planner I think it's so cute and then we're gonna flip to the next portion, which is my health planner. And I 
love this one as well. It's so cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to just put this whole planner on extended disc and put all of my planner and my house planner on one. Considering I am using two or if I'm going to just keep them separate. I don't know what I want to do. But when I go to put my pages back in, I'm just going to put them both in here until I figure out what I want to do. Because I honestly, I don't know. I really don't. And I'll go up to June on this one as well. Just makes it so, so easy. All right. So now that we're done with that part, we're gonna add some things in that we need from my current planner. So this is my current planner right here. This is how it normally sits on the desk and I love it. So let's go to the front. And I'm not gonna do everything, I'm not gonna do the full setup, but I do wanna do like the main things that I wanna do. So I have been really into keeping fun things in my planner and I keep all of my Steve emojis in the front. Um, I use these all the time, at least once a week, and if not once in my regular planner, in my health and fitness one. And I got this little card. It was given to me when I went to my first Go Wild, my only Go Wild. So I like to keep that right in the front. Um, I actually wanna get some more things like this. This is just like an important paper I need for an appointment that I have that's coming up. So I like to keep that there so I know. And then somebody also made this at Go Wild and I just like it. So I keep it right in my planner, even though it's for the door. If I put that on my door at home, like my husband would not listen. He's gonna bust in, you know. And I got a kid, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna pull a couple of things from different sections to kind of round out this planner. And I always keep these in the front of my planner. Always have sticky notes. They are my jam. I think I might be giving this up soon because almost all of them are used. I never use these. Um, and I think this is just kind of making my planner look a little bit messy. Haven't decided. But these, these are the ARC brand. I love these. These are definitely staying in the planner. And then these are for me to write all my bills on for the month. I actually need to get back into that. I haven't done it all this year. And it's nice to know like when every single bill is absolutely done or due. Um, I keep this in my um, planner as well. And it's just an envelope of this is my low spend year of 2024. I didn't do a video on this. I was kind of keeping it to myself, but might as well show it now. These are the only two things I have bought this year. And it was honestly only two things and one of them were, was the ARC. <laughs> and I still have 236.48 to spend for the rest of the year. I just been really keeping my eyes open guys, like not spending willy nilly because I don't have a lot to spend. So if you spend it all at the very beginning, then you got nothing at the end, right? always keep this folder in here this is like some questions that i like to ask um me and my husband like to ask each other like once in a while and then some stamps and then my long sticky note i love that it's by aaron condren and then this is let me see how far this goes These are just some important things I like to keep at the very front of my planner along with my name page. Like my name page is thrashed guys already. Tired as a mother. Oh, it's so true. Being a mom is tiring. And then we're gonna just go to our weekly. Let's 
let's see. I don't know where I want to even start. I guess I'll just start right here. So I keep several bookmarks in my planner because it just completely makes sense. I have a bunch, guys. Don't judge me. Okay, so <laughs> took them out the opposite way. So, okay. So this one goes on my monthly. Oh, wait. No. This one goes on my monthly. And I'm just going to keep the same bookmarks because they're perfect for spring. So we have this month. And then we have this week. And then I have to put one in to separate my health and regular planners. So this one just sits here. And this is when I know it's time to change my planner. And then I also keep one on my monthly or my, no, my monthly, on my weekly and my health planner. Sorry if that was crooked. And I might change the order of these. It just depends. And then I have another folder I like to keep in my planner. And this, I just move it along. Hold on, I just want to like, I have some important papers in here that are kind of personal. I don't want to be seen. Just going to set them to the side until I'm done filming this. So I keep this folder in here. So if I have any important things coming up, it sits in here. And I just started doing this because I noticed this year my folder at the front keeps. Let me see. Uh oh. I have to move this guys. You guys probably caught this and I didn't even catch this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought something felt a little wonky in here. Okay. So this is my regular folder and this just houses things that are always in my planner. And then this folder moves as we go, as I go through the months and it stays at the very beginning of my monthly and it's just any important papers if my son needs to go to a doctor's appointment or me or my brother or we have there's so many different things that I have to keep track of so this is where it goes and then behind this I just took a sheet um, I'm actually looking for like something like plastic something like this but like a full page haven't found anything yet if you guys know of anything like that just like a hard piece of plastic that i can put here i seen this in someone else's planner and i thought it was an amazing idea but they put it on like a hard piece of plastic and it's just their reminders like on here like i have things that i need to buy planner items that i want oh these are the same list um, books that I want to check out or movies I want to check out and then these are some of like my planner video ideas let me see if there's anything else in my old planner or slash current planner that I want to use move over to here I don't think there's anything um, except for some things that I'm gonna move like without you guys because it's not necessary but aside from that yeah your girl's done it okay so let's just take a look and a walk through my new spring refresh guys i'm obsessed i know this like cover is dirty i need to wash it but these alternating green discs chef's kiss i love it 
and then the inside like look at how good that green matches i don't think you guys can see it but there's these little flowers with green that match these perfect they're so cute i love how everything like coordinates together even my like little cards and i open it up i have all my sticky notes which i love to have at the beginning of my planner cannot have my planner without that and then my pages to put my bills on which i told myself i got to get back into that in april and then this is just an envelope to keep my spending tracker in i should probably keep it in my budget planner but i like it here because this is specific to my planner and then this is my everyday use folder and then we're at the beginning of my planner and these are just like papers i always keep in my planner no need for you guys to see that another folder because this is housing all of my important docs for the month my reminder sheet and then we go into the first month and this is my bookmark for the month and then we also I passed it up and this bookmark is for the week and then those are just gonna be the same and then we come to this bookmark and this is just dividing my regular planner from my health and wellness planner and then we have a bookmark on the week of my wellness planner and that is my planner set up for the next three months i love it let me know how you guys feel about it and what would you change if there was anything and if you like this video, you should definitely give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification so you'll be notified when I post content. Thank you so much for joining me on this planner refresh and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful one and try something new.